Hello again, Ed Stacey from Capital Network is here with us, our expert analyst, talking to us about Custodian. And don't forget, before we start talking to Ed, if you want more details on this report, you can, of course, click the I in the corner of your screen. Ed, Stacey, welcome. Hello. Good to talk to you. So Custodian then, uh, what type of investment is that? So Custodian REIT, it's a, it's a REIT, a real estate investment trust. So these are stock market listed vehicles, property investing vehicles. Uh, so you can buy them in your ISA. Institutions also buy them. The reason people buy them is looking for a high dividend income yield and typically a conservative type of risk profile. So that's what a REIT is and that's what Custodian is indeed. So how does it deliver on those objectives then? Yeah, so Custodian, uh, it's non-residential real estate, UK wide. Uh, it's offering a 5.5% dividend yield um, and over the last few years it's also been delivering for investors in terms of total return, 10% uh, total return to shareholders over the last three years. So you're getting that dividend yield plus also your capital appreciation has been coming through. Um, and what we look at in our report uh, is really the dividend in a sort of risk adjusted context because you want a nice high dividend yield but you also want to know that that dividend is safe. So what we've looked at is custodian REIT compared to some of the peers in terms of how much leverage is there on the balance sheet relative to how much dividend yield are you getting. It compares very favorably on those metrics and also we looked at dividend cover because there are some out there that pay a higher dividend than custodian but that dividend is not entirely covered by rental income. Whereas for custodian, they always pay the dividend out of rental income they've received on their properties. So that makes it safer in our view. So yes, a high dividend yield, also a safe dividend yield. And I think that's what's driven the strong total returns and also very low volatility in custodian as an investment. When you make that report and you look at that comparison, what is it for you that stands out as the strongest uh, thing that custodian are doing, which separates them from all the other REITs? Um, I think, I mean, really, firstly, there's a, an absolute focus on high uh, yielding properties. So rental yield, meaning how much rent do you get per million dollars of investment in the property? Uh, and they're doing that because they focus on buying in high yielding sectors. They're not looking at speculative assets or doing developments. They're looking at properties that will be occupied continuously and paying rent. Examples, they have logistics warehouses, uh, they have warehouse style retail stores, so the sort of you know retail parks, B&M stores, those types of things. They have offices as well and the focus there, uh, it's a lot of um, very popular busy business park type locations. So these are places where you can always keep the buildings rented out uh, and they're not typically locations where there's a lot of sort of speculative fluctuation in valuation so you can, you can keep acquiring in those areas at a decent rental yield. So it's achieving those high rental yields and also they're doing this by buying small lot sizes. So they will buy sub 10 million pound lot sizes. Some other real estate investment trusts only like to buy much bigger lots. And that actually typically means, we demonstrate all this in the report with some facts and figures, typically smaller lots actually get you a better rental yield. It also means they have a less concentrated tenant base um, they don't have tenants that amount to 5 or 10% of their portfolio. It's much more fragmented, which is good because you don't want any one tenant to be too important to you. So good for the risk profile, also good for that um, rental yield. So that's how Custodian are able to deliver nice high yields to investors with a low risk profile. So the Custodian REIT is all about uh, focusing on delivering that income to investors. Exactly, and so that's in terms of getting the maximum rental yield from your properties, and then that rental income drops down into net profit for the company, and then most of that goes out in dividends to the investor. So that's what they're doing, yep, exactly. Aid Stacey, thanks very much indeed. And don't forget, if you want to see Ed's full report, click the I on your screen.